other people my age are sipping on green tea and eating avocado on sourdough. I've got a Yorkshire gold and some pop tarts. <laughs> and that is pretty much as exciting as my fiance gets. <laughs> Who eats a freaking tea bag? You are. <sighs> Good morning everybody, happy Monday. Welcome to another weekly vlog. Um, <laughs> starting off this weekly vlog on Cocoa Bowl because I've done my bloody back in again, I don't know how. And I've got a water infection, so actually the two might be linked. I think maybe my back's hurting because of the water infection. But yeah, oh, <laughs> life really knows how to kick me in the proverbial bollocks this year. I think it's been because I've been so run down recently. And obviously, to be honest, I'm surprised I haven't had a water infection sooner with everything that's been going on because I'm just, yeah, it's been a crazy four months really, hasn't it? But uh, I have a prescription. I managed to speak to um, use the Push Doctor app last night, which is just bloody brilliant. Um, spoke to the doctor, and I have a prescription waiting for me to go and collect as soon as the pharmacy opens this morning. So I'm going to go out and get that, hobble out and get that, because my back is killing me. Uh, yeah, so that, that is my Monday morning. Well, you're all steamed up from the kettle right there. Steam it. Um, yeah, but I just have to cross my fingers and hope that my car actually gets me to the <laughs> pharmacy because yesterday it started making the most horrendous noise and I genuinely think that like it's actually on its way out. So yeah, brilliant start to my Monday really. <sighs> I'm having some Greek yogurt this morning and trying out some of the honeys from uh, the little gift set that Lucy bought me as a congratulations for my bumble job. Haven't tried any yet. I think I'm gonna go for the polyflora honey. Let's give that a go. It's all happening today. So the gas man's just phoned to say, can I come around in 15 minutes instead of in two hours? Cause I'm running ahead of schedule. Okay, fair enough, that's fine. So I hopped in the shower, very, very quick shop. How is my hair looking greasy already? Oh, I'm having a consultation at the Bad Apple Salon in, um, Birmingham this week to have like a complete colour revamp and I'm actually really excited because um, they've got great reviews and they're putting me in with the um, the senior colour technician because I was like I had a horrible experience that when I changed hairdressers last time so can I go with the senior one and she was like I saw the vlog yes <laughs> So yeah, we're gonna go for like a brand new colour vamp. I'm thinking redo my balayage and maybe go sort of like coppery so I can match my dog. Kidding, um, but I am thinking copper. Um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to that. Anyway, this just arrived in the post. I don't know if you, will it focus? It's bloody camera. There we go, look, it's a little rose gold bee. And I know it's quite sad, but um, I was really proud that I got the bumble job and I'm so excited about it um, that I thought I would buy myself a little necklace to say well done you um, and as like a little good look charm. It's kind of become my thing actually like buying little pieces of jewellery like my lotus flower thing to get me through and yeah so I thought I bought it by this and I can wear this at every event that I do as a little good look charm. Um, it's come from Etsy actually from a shop called Polly Red and it was fairly cheap to be honest that it's not expensive but I just really like it so I'm gonna pop that on today and I'm going to chase up my venue and see if we can get the first uh, the first event confirmed. Fingers crossed. I am so excited for my lunch today. Thought I'd do it to cheer myself up. Um, I'd made some pulled pork at the weekend, and I've got a sweet potato jacket potato underneath there. You won't can't see it. <laughs> Coleslaw and uh, oven roasted kale. Thought this might cheer me up a little bit. Right, I can finally go to the pharmacy and collect my. Um, antibiotics which I'm very much needing right now I'm sort of flagging so I'm one of those infections where I feel like I'm okay and then I go to the loo and then I'm like I'm not okay agony so uh yeah I'm gonna go to the pharmacy now going in me scruffs and I don't even care good news we have drugs hip hip hooray I can't remember if I told you about push doctor in my last vlog um because I used it the other week for the first time uh, used had Lucy as my guinea pig because um, they sent me some vouchers over to try out the service and they to see if I like it and if I like it we're going to be working on something together for mental health on Instagram and um, yeah tried it last week with Lucy with something that she's been trying to get in to see a doctor for for like months but obviously the doctor's waiting list is so long for non-emergency things um, yeah, she saw a doctor in five minutes and got a prescription within an hour. So it's unbelievable. It's basically an app that you download and you can speak to real doctors. They're not fake doctors, real doctors. Um, over like essentially video call, FaceTime. Um, 
and they do a consultation with you and they can send prescriptions to your local oh, pharmacy. Um, yeah, and they're open seven days a week from 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. So if your doctor's surgery is closed, you can still speak to a doctor. And it's just bloody brilliant. It costs 20 pounds, I think, per consultation. But happy to pay it last night <laughs> when I was sat there in absolute agony with my water infection. And it means I didn't have to go all the way to the doctors, take up an emergency appointment, uh, sit there feeling like shit and uh, wait while they're a little bit late as they always are and then go to the pharmacy just means that I was able to just go straight to the pharmacy and pick stuff up anyway um yeah this isn't paid by the way just genuinely I'm really impressed with the app so check it out it's worth having on your phone for emergencies um because 20 quid to save this amount of hassle well worth it to me anyway so I have my drugs however that is a good thing however my car has died <laughs> So it was making a really horrendous noise on the way to the pharmacy, which luckily is only a few minutes down the road. Um, I would have walked, but I feel crap, so no. Uh, yeah, I'm making a horrendous noise, got back in, and it pretty much cut out just on my drive. So can't seem to get it to start again. I think it's officially dead as a dodo. I phoned my dad and uh, he was like, yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah, brilliant, I have to, wipe out my savings and buy a new car just for Christmas. I'm a little bit fed up of 2017 now. <laughs> I feel like this year has just absolutely pummeled me and I am officially on countdown until New Year's Eve at midnight because I just give up now. I just give up. Morning everyone, happy Tuesday. Feeling a little bit better today. My antibiotics are kicking in, which is a very, very good thing because I have a job this evening, I have to go to the theatre, so yeah. Actually, don't feel too bad about leaving the house and putting on clothes and all sorts, so that's really, really good. I also have had a huge win today. Um, my car is dead. It's officially gone. It's uh, it's time has come. Uh, it's 15 years old though, so to be fair, it's had a good run, but yeah, it's gone. And I need a car, but I can't really afford to like buy a lot of car, because just can't. So um, yeah, mum has actually got a new car recently and they were gonna part exchange her car in for that and stuff. But they have very, very kindly agreed to let me buy it off her um, for a good rate. <laughs> um, basically, I wouldn't be able to get this car um, any other way, but yeah. So they have pretty much saved the day. So I am getting, I'm having mum's car on Thursday. I think she got a Fiesta actually. Um, it's rather, bright blue colour but beggars cannot be choosers so yeah I'm really excited actually it'll um it'll be nice it's a really lovely car so they have saved the day and um yeah still a bit of a sting did not need to uh lose this money um but that's life I suppose isn't it so yeah at least that I was really stressing about it so at least that's sort of taken the stress away a little bit I know that I don't have to go through the rigmarole of like finding a car and be without one for so long so yeah Thursday I get that it just means I need to sell mine now well <laughs> for scraps I suppose I think we buy any car have said they'll give me 75 pounds for it <laughs> which I guess is better than nothing because it's literally gonna be well it's dead so what are you gonna do so because I am a fully functioning adult um I have pop tarts for breakfast I didn't know they still did these but I saw them on a show oh 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 dear. I saw them on a show last week and I was like, do you know what I haven't had for years since I was a kid? Pop tarts. Do you know what I need in my life? Pop tarts. So it's happening. They look uh, just as miserable as they did before. Yep, tastes exactly the same. Like shit. Most other people my age are sipping on green tea and eating avocado on sourdough. I've got a Yorkshire gold and some pop tarts. <laughs> Oh, I've been non-stop today, so my lunch is pretty quick. It's just pasta, cream cheese, a little bit of leftover pasta sauce that I had, and some pesto. So, yeah. I'm starving. <laughs> I'm holding my camera completely the wrong way around, so I've got two SLRs in my other hand. Don't know why I decided to start recording now, one sec. So I'm all dolled up for the theatre, and also to film my video, and I feel absolutely amazing. I haven't sort of put 
clothes on for a while or put makeup on for a while so yeah feeling really good and I've even got false lashes on I haven't applied them very well I'm not very good at the whole false lash thing but I quite like them and they're pretty woohoo uh, so yeah this top's really old from new look this is a new skirt that I bought the other week eight pounds from Primark I'm gonna pop these Daniel footwear um, boots on bare legs <gasps> brave um, and yeah this is a lip pencil from Barry M and stuff uh, <laughs> I've not done a makeup tutorial for a while so uh, yeah I'm just gonna go film my video uh, I'm waiting for a parcel though which is already 10 minutes late so no doubt they'll go knocking on the door as soon as I start filming but there we go um, yeah and then I'm gonna head over to the theatre I'm really excited Legally Blonde the musical is something that I wanted to see for so long I love the film I think it's gonna be like a proper cool cheesy 90s girl power night out I'm so excited <laughs> I'd like you to count through your phone and tell me how many selfies of us you just took to try and get the right one. You are. Glasses on. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 12. And none of them are any good. <laughs> so we are at the uh, Wolves Grand to watch Legally Blonde the musical. And I'm really excited, I'm so excited. But it's, lo it's so cute here, like they've had a refurb quite a while ago actually. Um, but I haven't been here since then. And it just looks so great Gatsby. Yeah. So you can bloody love it. Do you think it's going to be good? <laughs> <laughs> We've got to perfect our bend and snap. Don't get out much. <laughs> I don't even know what the story is. I didn't, I didn't even know what the story is for... Um, what's that film? Um, Legally Blonde. No, this is Legally Blonde. There's another film that you that we talked about that time. Mean Girls. No, the, let, the one that ends and you were like, how does it end? Um, oh, I know what it was, Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> It's absolutely amazing. We're at the interval and it's just, it's unbelievable. If you get a chance to come and see this show, you definitely have to. It's just so bloody funny. I just, it, it's brilliant. And the person who is playing Elle, I will research it because I need to review it tomorrow. Uh, but she's awesome. Oh, absolutely love it, guys. Seriously. It's so much fun. I've literally got back into my PJs in record time. Oh my goodness. That was so good I loved it in fact if you hear listen quietly you might be able to hear the soundtrack playing in the other room because I've downloaded it on Spotify already it's just bloody brilliant if you get a chance oh dog treats do not steal those um if you get a chance to see that guys honestly do it's it's just it's one of the best musicals I've seen in a long time like literally standing ovation worthy and I do not give those out willy-nilly yeah bloody brilliant well done well done guys Morning everybody, so I've woken up singing all the songs to Legally Blonde the Musical, absolutely bloody brilliant. I'm going to have to go see it again. It's doing a tour, so I'm not sure where it's going next, I'm going to have to research later. Um, but yeah, fantastic, loved it. Uh, lots to do today, I'm also going into Birmingham for my hair um, consultation that I missed last week. Could actually really do with not going, because it's going to take a big chunk out of the day, but... Um, it's a job with them, so it needs to be done. I think, well, my dad are coming up later as well to drop off the car. Which is really good. I could use, like, driving to Birmingham today, but obviously I can't because I have no car. So, um, yeah, I think they're coming up when I get back because I'm going to go on the train and do a bit of work on the train. It might be a bit easier. And the weather's quite nice, so I think I can walk to and from the station, which is also good. Bit of exercise. Right, I'm after Birmingham to the Bad Apple Hair Salon to get my consultation to see what they're going to do with my hair. Very excited. Uh, I've got loads of washing up to do, what's new. <laughs> That's about it. The sun is shining, so it's a good day, but I feel like I'm running around like a headless chicken today. Well, that was a good little trip to Birmingham. I am so excited. I'm having my hair done on Saturday now, which will be a nice little treat. Uh, I spoke to the colourist there, head of colourist, and yeah, who's basically, we're going to do like a copper balayage again and just bring a bit more of my colour up because it's kind of, it's grown out a little bit. So it looks more, it looks more ombre these days. So we're going to re-balayage a little bit and go more copper. So I'm very excited. Although he did try and convince me to go uh, like permanent, uh, chocolate brown on top but I just don't want the hassle of roots so I think we're going to go down the toner route as usual um, but yeah really excited I can't wait to go and the salon is pretty damn cool um, it's like hidden away on the top floor of Topshop in the ball ring um, it's really small cosy but like dead cool it's one of those places where you walk in and you're like oh I don't think I'm cool enough to be here. I'm glad I put some lippy on. But um, yeah, really nice people. I'm very, very excited for Saturday. So, uh, mum and dad are on the way with my new car. 
Good morning. Welcome to Thursday. I have got my cozy PJs on. They were £14 from Tesco and I bought myself them the other day to cheer myself up and do you know what? It bloody worked. So this morning I have a, I have a chocolate croissant from pret a manger that I bought yesterday <laughs> um, for the train but my coffee went cold before I got a chance to eat it so saved it for this morning. Quite excited about that. Um, and that is pretty much as exciting as my first day gets. <laughs> this little doggo has definitely, excuse me, off there, you're getting so big. Um, this little doggo has well and truly slipped into the habit of sleeping with me most nights. And I don't even care because I'm lonely and he's warm and soft and he doesn't snore. <laughs> you really want that cross on, you're not having it. But I love him. I love him in my bed. And he's no trouble at all. You like it too, don't you? You're such a fuss butt. You like being close to people, hey? Yeah. Gone are the days when he'll never be allowed in the bed. <laughs> Lol, let's all laugh together. Oh, Toby, you're so close. So close. Right, I'm actually just nipping out because I was in town yesterday and I saw this market stall that had like dog beds for like five quid and I want to get one to put in the boot of my car because I've got a dog gate so Toby can't jump over the back seat because he used to sit on the back seat with a harness and a seat belt, doggy seat belt but now he's going to go in the boot but I just don't want him to rip up the boot because he's on a chewy phase at the moment. So I don't want him to like chew the boot because obviously it's a really nice car. Um, so I'm gonna get him a little dog bed that's really cheap. So if he chews that, it doesn't matter. But if he wants to chew something, hopefully he'll pick that and not like the pull for the boot to get into the spare tire or all the other stuff in there. So that is the plan. And also I just feel like I need to get out of the house. The weather is horrible, it's really cold, and I've got no makeup on, haven't even showered, disgusting. But I just feel like I just need to get out and just have a like a walk, a quick walk. So take half an hour for myself and just sort of regroup a little bit. So that is what I'm doing. See you later. Bye. Parcels. So I've got this. Um, new salon hair dryer and volumizer from Revlon to give a go. So it basically just dries your hair and um, gives you volume at the same time like a big barrel brush that's heated. I'm intrigued by this. Maybe I might have to give it a go next week and I'll, uh, I'll let you know what I think about that. £83 for my car from webuyanycar.com which I suppose is better than a kick in the teeth especially because it had died but yeah that's depressing isn't it but bless the little polo it is gone eight years I've had that car all gone time for a new era of car driving and I also have to clear out all the crap that was in my boot <laughs> I've tried and I'm not sure if it works, but I'm just gonna roll with it anyway. This skirt I haven't worn in ages and I'm terrible for this. If I see something in my wardrobe that I haven't worn, I'm like, right, I've got to wear it because I haven't worn it for ages. Even if actually a different skirt might have been a bit better. But anyway, this is that new lovely jumper I bought from Primark with the like fluty sleeves. And then this like lovely stretch kind of black and white, um, I don't know what it is, it's like a crazy ge geometric pattern. Black tights and then my boots from, I can't remember what they're called, but they're absolutely amazing, super comfy. So yeah, I'm not sure if this looks cool or if I, do, if I look a bit like a bag lady, but I'm not sure. I'm gonna roll with it anyway. And uh, hopefully, even if I do look stupid, it might be a bit dark in there, so no one will see. So tonight, I'm going to an event with Home Sanctuary. Home Sanctuary. <laughs> They've got some amazing home stuff. I didn't actually know they existed until I got invited to this event. Went on their website and fell in love with everything. So that is a problem. <laughs> I'm almost tempted to leave my purse at home because seriously, it's like marble, rose gold, geometric stuff, everything that I like style-wise in one brand. So um, I'm actually quite excited to meet them. Toby, the English fairy lights in it. Uh, drop it. So I'm taking Lucy with me, we're gonna go drive in my new car and uh, yeah, it'll be really nice just a couple of hours, get out of the house. I put some makeup on, put a bit of slap on. This lipstick I haven't worn in ages, it's one of the Bourjois uh, Velvet Rouge things, number seven. Not sure if I like it, not sure if it's very me. It's a bit too pink for me, normally I'm a brown or a red girl, anyway. <laughs> cute our home sanctuaries products i know right absolutely loved them i felt like it was in a christmas goth grotto so cute absolutely loved it and the founders are adorable as well it was really nice to meet them bright light 
yeah and i got a lovely let me show you what they gave me in my press pack <gasps> very very lucky me but look at this oh it's so pretty it's a little candle holder i love it so thank you very much guys um yeah it's all like handmade artisan stuff um but for really reasonable prices good morning everybody i look like shit today <laughs> um just see myself in the viewfinder oh dear uh yeah i feel a bit like crap today i've got a banging headache and um yeah i just feel really sad all of a sudden um so chris is coming over what day is it friday oh, tomorrow he's coming over tomorrow evening to drop off stuff and swap keys and stuff um and i think it's just all made it very very real all of a sudden not that it hasn't been real but it's been odd because he's kind of been sort of texting on and off and being really nice and I don't know I guess there was a little part of me that genuinely thought there was hope that he might have changed his mind or <clears throat> I don't know but yeah the confirmation that he's sort of coming over to do all that stuff I'm like oh yeah okay he's not changing his mind it's really happening now um <clears throat> and yeah as soon as swap stuff numbers deleted off facebook cold turkey gone and i'm just gutted because i do love him and we've been through so much and we're like best friends as well and i'm just gonna feel lost without him in my life if i'm completely honest it's not like a the thing is it's not like a nasty breakup where you can sort of be like oh well they were dickhead anyway it's a really nice he it's well it's not nice obviously but it's civil and it's just it's just really hard i think neither of us w want it to happen but he just he knows in his heart that it's not right so he's doing the right thing by breaking it off now before it goes any further so yeah i think it's just difficult for everybody but i feel a bit crap today not gonna lie and also realise it's going to be after I have my hair done. So I'm going to go and have my hair done and hopefully come out looking fabulous and feeling really good. Only to just have my heart broken. <laughs> and then probably sit in my living room with a bottle of wine. Looking fabulous but feeling like shit. <laughs> what is, what has my life become? <laughs> oh dear me. In other news, Superdry are sending me a new coach today. So I shall have to get out of the house and test it out and take Toby for a walk at some point. I'm actually quite looking forward to it because I need a new coat, a really nice warm one. So let's run with that as the positive thing for today. <laughs> Just been out for a lovely dog walk um, and when I got back my coat had arrived so gutty I didn't get to wear it but this is from Super Dry. They sent it over and oh my god <laughs> it's the most amazing coat ever. It's so warm it's like a mountain exposition one so it's going to be perfect for the dog walks and the fur bits detachable so it won't get ruined in the rain. It's just like it's just really thick really warm very impressed I have to say. I haven't had a Super Dry coat before but I tend to just wander around in my Soul Cal gilet and it's actually getting too cold now now for a gilet we need a proper windproof waterproof coat so yeah really excited to give this a go but we've been for a walk now so i should try it tomorrow <laughs> back out again because toby has just eaten a tea bag off the floor and caffeine is poisonous to dogs so i've had to find the vet i'm asking if we need to bring him in and they want to see him just have a check over just in case but i've just made a lovely chicken kale salad which i don't have time to eat so we've got to take him in now who eats a freaking tea bag you're gonna be the death of me. You're gonna cost me a bloody fortune. <laughs> and also to the scumbags who leave shit like tea bags on the floor. Shame on you. There is so much rubbish on our streets and in our parks, and you don't notice until you have a dog. <sighs> don't be a little bug. P pick up your stuff. But genuinely, who leaves a tea bag on the floor? Really? PG tips. I honestly feel like I could cry. That was absolutely horrible so they had to pump his stomach um so we had to stand with him outside while he was being sick for about half an hour 40 minutes um oh don't cry it was really horrible i'm never having kids because <laughs> i can't go through that with an actual human it's bad enough with the dog um yeah and it cost me 120 quid oh i literally was just putting my keys in the door i didn't even realize he picked anything up because i didn't even see it myself it was hidden in between loads of leaves. I can't, uh, 
I know it's my fault for getting a dog and he has got insurance. It's just the excess is 90 quid and this was 120, so. <sighs> Looks like I'll be staying in for the rest of the month. <laughs> Yo, 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 it's about 8 p.m. and my friend Matt is coming round for a wine night, a little bit of a wine night and a bitch, <laughs> and watch a, a bit of Gogglebox, so I'm looking forward to that. It'd be nice to have some company, actually, because today has turned out to be a pretty shitty day, if I'm honest, so, um, yeah. I'm excited about tomorrow, though, so I'll probably leave this here and catch up with you in the morning um, when I'm getting my hair transformed. It really needs a wash. <laughs> Morning everyone, happy Saturday. I had a lovely night last night with Matt actually. Um, just watched TV, chatted, caught up and drunk wine, which was nice. And we just had pizza from Papa John's. And now I'm not a big pizza fan when I do a takeaway. Normally I go for like Chinese or Indian, but the pizza was really, really good. I properly enjoyed it, so. Well done, Papa John's. So today is hair day. I get to be transformed. So this is what my hair looks like at the moment. And uh, hopefully later it'll look better. <laughs> I'm feeling a bit flat today, if I'm honest. I'm just dreading um, seeing Chris later and swapping stuff over. It's all in a box on the kitchen table, all of his stuff. And yeah, it's just going to be really crappy having the final goodbye. So um, yeah kind of excited for today but then also a little bit flat because I know that I'm gonna be like really happy and then I'm gonna come home and be like oh okay yeah gotta do this <laughs> well my battery is flashing so quick better swap it over because I want to show you guys the salon because it's really nice in there and uh yeah everyone's really friendly so at least I can sort of chat my worries away with my new hairstylist during the day this little man is feeling a lot better this morning. Look at that waggy tail, it never stops. So yes, after his traumatic day yesterday, I think we're fine. Bless you. That's a very nice squirrel. Thank you very much for showing it me. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Uh, he's been wolfing down his activated charcoal in his food. This little idiot will eat anything. Well, as we saw yesterday, which is why he went to the bloody vets. <laughs> Put a bit of makeup on in the hope that it might uh, cheer me up a little bit, especially because I'm going to be in front of a mirror for the next three hours or so. And uh, yeah, every time I go to the hairdresser, I never bother. And I look in the mirror and I'm like, oh my God, I look rough. <laughs> so I thought, right, full face of makeup, then we'll be all right. Um, yeah, so this is the before, and I shall show you the after in a bit. <gasps> Wish me luck, I hope he doesn't ruin it. <laughs> strange being sat in a hair salon when you've literally got the shop just through there. <laughs> but I'm excited, really excited. I'm trying to find somewhere in the house where I can stand where it doesn't look like I've got red hair. It's not this red in real life. I don't know why the camera's doing this. It is, um, it's really coppery basically and I love it. The front has taken a little bit more than the rest which I think the camera's picking up on because um, I'm so used to having my blonde streaks at the front which are natural. Uh, it's really odd to see dark hair around my face so yeah I think they will probably fade quite quickly which I wouldn't be too bothered about because I kind of miss my blonde streaks but for some reason that part of my hair just took so well to the toner that they put on. Um, but yeah, absolutely love it. He's sort of taken my balayage up a little bit that I had already, um, moved it right up actually into into the root area and we've put like a copper balayage in. Honestly, it looks so red, it's not that red. <laughs> ignore the front bits it's not that red but yeah we've kind of like warmed it up a little bit so before it was like a golden blonde and now it's uh now it's a coppery blonde i really like it um hopefully you'll be able to see it in the morning how it really literally it looks <laughs> oh dear hopefully you'll be able to see it in the morning how it really looks but yeah i really like it and they're very cool in there very nice people they've got gin they've got beer they've got wine they've got coffee proper coffee machine it's just nice. You don't even realise that you're in Top Shop, which is odd. Um, so yeah, loved it very much. Thank you very much, Bad Apple Hair Salon. But I will try and show you this in the morning, I think, because this is not doing it justice right now. How nice is the blow dry though? Oh, I love blow dried hair. What do you think, Toby? Me and you match at the moment. He doesn't care. He actually doesn't care. Right, so tonight uh, I am staying in, uh, which seems a bit silly really, because I've got my lovely bouncy hair. Um, but I'm staying in and I'm going to watch X Factor with Toby on the sofa so catch up with you guys tomorrow morning bye 
morning happy sunday so uh this is my hair in the light hopefully you can see it, although my blow dryer has gone well and truly flat i really like it it's just the front has taken a bit redder than the rest uh the rest is like really coppery you've brought the balayage up but yeah i'm gonna get a little toner um from super drug like a little um chocolate warm chocolate brown toner just to do the front bits i think because they're naturally blonde they've just taken more red than the rest so yeah but i love it i love the cut i love what he's done with my fringe they've like put my layers back in but not too much i just i just really like it it's a big revamp and it makes me feel great so yeah awesome salon thank you bad apple hair but i'll be doing a review on the blog if you want to check that out but yeah just chilling out today having a nice quiet one before another busy week starts again hopefully by the end of next week i'll have broken the back on a lot of jobs that i need to do so we can get back to creating more content anyway um thank you very much for watching this week's vlog and i guess i'll see you next week bye look who's here everybody she's not dead but she is now a lesbian it's lucy <laughs> like lauren hide the chips lucy like lauren's here <laughs> <Doga. laughs> i could have spent like the whole episode like this <laughs>